Yeah. Uh, uh, so I was just strolling right and like I I saw this video that said hip hop love for Dragon Ball Z and you know the genius dude that be doing all this stuff, bro. Like like I knew people in the industry fuck with Dragon Ball Z, but it became so much good that they had to make a video about this, bro. And like I haven't watched it or nothing, but these are one of the video that. I really need to share with you guys, cause y'all know I, I'm literally a Dragon Ball Z nigga, bro. Y'all, y'all know that from the real. I fuck with this shit, like for the long run. I've been fucking with this shit ever since I was little. I think I was about three or five when my daddy showed me my first. Like the first episode of Dragon Ball Z was the first one I got into, bro. I remember it was just Goku, like Chi Chi. Goku, have you seen Gohan? Oh no, GG! Oh, I can't do the voice right now, <clears throat> but y'all get it, G. But we about to go ahead and watch this video, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, 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 oh! Go, go, go! Ah! Love this. Hip hop's love for Dragon Ball is no secret. The long running manga and anime was originally created in 1984 by Japanese artist Akira Toriyama and burst onto American screens in the late 90s with its successor, Dragon Ball Z, mm -hmm. on Cartoon Network's afternoon programming block, Toonami. It's all over. Dragon Ball Z, weekdays at 5.30. Many of today's rappers grew up watching the show, and Adult Swim creative director Jason DeMarco said that DBZ is, quote, empowerment fantasy, and that many young minorities told him they loved the show saying, quote, I get why that same kid would become a rapper and then rap about wanting to be like Goku because you take your heroes where you can get them. Yes! There are thousands of hip-hop lyrics that reference Dragon Ball's characters yes. and their strengths. Weaknesses, yes. appearances, yes. and personalities. Yes! There are a few. Dragon Ball's main protagonist, Goku, is a happy-go-lucky, kind-hearted alien called the Saiyan. He's a defender of Earth and arguably the universe's top fighter. Rappers invoke Goku to indicate strength, whether it's bravado, violence, or good drugs. You can't forget about Goku, though. <laughs> Goku's fellow Saiyan Vegeta is self-absorbed, yeah. arrogant, yeah, yeah, I can't and forget about Goku. I mean Vegeta. To the end of your life, and I promise it's going to hurt. Vegeta and Goku go from rivals to allies, and many of his mentions deal with the superiority complex and his cutthroat nature. Her couple men want me dead, put an M on my head like Vegeta. Super Saiyan. Let's go, they come let me push. Pussy nigga, they come you for me. Big up! Goku, any villain, I beat her. But did the villain, then I get you. I discovered that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to catch you. A warrior prince forever living in the shadow of a low-level clown. One of Dragon Ball's biggest themes is the Super Saiyan transformation. Now, when Saiyans undergo extreme duress, they turn to powerful beings, characterized by yellow hair and a glowing Super gold Saiyan 3, the bad boy! Sometimes use this as a way to demonstrate lyrical prowess. I'm a young Wayne, I go insane. Luke Kang, Super Saiyan, whenever the loose be playing. Complaining, I'll be Super Saiyan shit on the Pro Tools when we go, go. Super Saiyan with ruthless slayings. Eat puss, sweet puss, got my tooth decaying. Goku first goes Super Saiyan after seeing his best friend Krillin get killed by Frieza. Goku! Krillin! <laughs> Super Saiyan, fight, boy! Although he's one of the strongest humans on Earth, he's pretty weak compared to the regular alien adversaries. Now, so? rappers are quick to highlight this and poke fun at his massive head. But you know, you gotta have respect for Krillin, bro. You're like the Ginyu Force, you're hella weak. You're scared than Krillin, you can't even speak. Five for the killer, I'm living a novella. Got me losing hair, man, I'm turning into Krillin. Frieza is one of the show's most iconic villains. He's a destroyer of the Saiyan world, Planet Vegeta. MCs use him as a personification of evil. A frigid play on words and even jewelry. Boy, it's level to this monster. I feel like Frieza. Illest nigga to ever come out and set a speaker. I'm not as if it's not for sale. And I keep the goons with me like Frieza, though. Like I'm Frieza and this bitch. Piccolo is the spawn of King Piccolo, one of the earliest villains on the show. But I like the way he's doing it, too, bro. He's giving background information about it, too. Oh! And the old money got me. Nigga, me goes. How you doing, nigga, Green? Gohan 
Pokemon is Goku's half-human, half-Saiyan son, who's had latent powers since he was a child. And 70! Impossible for a kid! Artists use him for strength in the same vein as his father, occasionally pointing out his inherent strength. We got chemistry down to the protons, hidden potential like Gohan. You got me like, now your mama hit a press saying that you're gone, should've never went against Super Saiyan Gohan. We still try to go hunt, figure we make the most of it. In my mind, I know I was letting my dad down like Gohan. He doesn't thirst for battle and mayhem. He's not a fighter like you. Huh? Boo is one of the anime's most dangerous villains. He's had many transformations, but his consistent pink color is something artists love to reference. I'm inside that pink like go tech, so I call him I said you need a white with pink like Majin Boo. That's a pink ladder. Can't boo the bed, bro. Sit this down. Where is Kid Boo? The realest nigga above them all. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace. Okay, they drop Super Saiyan, y'all! Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. The origin of the shit be so forever lit, bro. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get a like, comment, share, subscribe, and we out, baby.